Ken uh, Kramer uh, uh, is a um, kind of a short, incisive, decisive uh, director, actor. Sometimes uh, actors uh, got annoyed that he would take the big parts, you know. But he was he was kind of a Canadian uh, beer bone tree or something. <laughs> it was that, you know the the theater manager who also acts and the the um, uh, his wife uh, Sue um, died um, while uh, died young. Yeah. Um, they had two children, um, and uh, but she was kind of a moderating. Uh, she was a Brit mm -hmm. uh, that he had met while studying at theater school in England. Mm -hmm. So um, they had come to uh, uh, they had come back to Canada, uh, and they proposed to the Saskatchewan Arts Board this idea of. Uh, of a touring company that would take plays around. And then uh, they established a theater in, in Regina. And, mm. uh, and the, uh, they perform in the round. Uh, right. So it's, it's been, uh, it's, uh, I think it's the only theater in, in Canada that is actually a theater in the round. It's permanently in the round. Uh, Does that affect your playwriting? Did it I think so, because uh, it's, it, it's almost more cinematic mm -hmm. because you have this big empty space that you have to fill like Shakespeare did, you know? Mm -hmm. uh, you have to sort of say, this space can be anything. Mm -hmm. You can do it, uh, it can be immediately anything. Mm -hmm. so, um, so the scenes, you know, you can't. Uh, go off stage and have people cart in another flat or drop it down or something like that. You have to, you have to write in a way that that takes advantage of that. Mm -hmm. So I th I think it I think it did influence uh, that uh, the, the the writing. Um, uh, in Boiler Room Suite, I have uh, uh, one stage direction that uh, s gives people some problems that I say. You see, Aggie uh, thinks herself as God, mm -hmm. and uh, she's so, so damaged uh, and uh, <coughs> angry at the world around her that she calls for the mountains to be flattened and, you know, the, the, the world to be destroyed. And I mm -hmm. uh, describe uh, this and uh, the, 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 uh, in the stage directions. And, uh, I've gotten uh, a note from some director, benighted director, saying, mm. ha, we can't, how, we can't do that. <laughs> how we, so, I can't afford to. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I, suggested, uh, I suggested maybe sound and lights. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, 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 I didn't suggest that she not direct the play. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, it's interesting, actually. I, just, I had a discussion with the playwright about that once, about. Um, you know, how much is it your responsibility to uh, write for the, uh, for, for the resources of a theater, you know? And of course, working uh, with the theater so closely as you did, you must have had an encyclopedic knowledge of what resources they had and what resources they wouldn't have. So was there ever a point in time when you thought, wait a second, I know they've got flats from that show. Yeah, <laughs> no, on. no, because they didn't have. Mm -hmm. See, they didn't right. have flats. That's right. Of course, it's in the round. Yeah, of course, they didn't have that. But. Um, no, so, uh, and I, I was, so it's very liberating, right, for mm. the playwright, because you can say, okay, I'll set this uh, in moon, Timbuktu, yeah. and uh, uh, they'll, they'll have to figure out how to right. make it, make the, make it a reality. Right, right. 